while Benji Fishy's trio had only just recently formed, I mean, they've still managed to really crush it in the FNCS finals, placing it at number five on the leaderboards. Even with a small amount of practice, Benji Fishy, you know, Train H Amplify, and Train H Matso had, like, they were still able to place in the top five. I mean, that raises the ultimate question. Like, how do these pro players actually pull this off? You know, what separates them from the rest of the pro Fortnite community? But your crunch, tell me where you at? Your motivation guy is back, and today, we're gonna be answering that question for you all by going into depth and breaking down a variety of the trio's in-game plays to see how exactly they win all of their fights. You guys ready for this? I know I am. Let's get this going. This fight taken from the FNCS Finals. All right, starts with Benji Fishy spotting a potential easy third-party elimination and begins shooting at them with his AR. So while they close in, they keep up their pressure on the two opposing teams by consistently just looking for shots and just trying to get some damage. So once they get close enough, they realize that the enemy in the box is alone and all three just start aggressively pushing him. So the enemy who is Wade Vidal tries his best to really relocate and rebox, and the trio gets to him and they start breaking his box from different angles, making it impossible for Wade Vidal to really escape. While Amplify shoots Vidal's box from below, Benji manages to quickly get into his box from the side and finish him off. The lesson that you have to walk away with from this bunch of Grunts Army is always, you know, try to go for the kill on an enemy who has lost his team. Take advantage of the fact that this is a 1v3 scenario and pressure the enemy as much as you can, most importantly from different sides, like making it harder and harder for the enemy to defend, ultimately leading to him making a mistake and giving up an elimination. It's also a cool tip to remember that once the fight is over, the trio doesn't just instantly eliminate the downed player. Benji tries to reload his sniper in time to shoot the downed enemy in the head to really ensure the most possible amount of damage that they can get so that they're, you know, ahead of the storm surge. Unfortunately, he doesn't really get the shot off in time. You know, if you don't know, like, you're definitely gonna get the full amount of damage the headshot actually does, even if the down player is on 10 HP. You know, helpful for tournament games with Storm Surge. Let me ask you this, do you guys wanna learn to play like the biggest pros in the Fortnite community? Then ProGuys.com is where you need to go. We've got master courses from some of the biggest pros like Clix and Mongrel. They will give you guys the knowledge and really teach you the skills that you need to perform like one of the best. All you gotta do to get started is click the link in the top right, and then you're gonna be on your way to improving faster than ever. So this fight from the most recent EU DreamHack competition is just an all-around clean fight, you know, really making use of everything that they possibly can. You know, when the trio really spots the enemy team, they don't just mindlessly just shoot the moment they see the enemies. They instead cautiously wait for the perfect moment to really concentrate on one player and get on them instantly, which gives them the upper hand, making the rest of the fight a 3v2. So the moment they knock the opponent using their ARs, Benji Fishy eats a hot pepper to gain extra movement and rotate to the right side while his teammates push from separate angles. All right, so we see here, and I mean like right here, that Benji Fishy is taking the enemy's walls and editing them from an entire tile away, making use of the range his purple spaz shotgun has. He does this because he knows that the enemy might have a primal shotgun, which is overpowered in close range scenarios, right? But pretty unusable, you know, when you keep a certain distance. So the trio continues spraying and pressuring from all angles, and we see Benji predict where the enemy goes, and Peace controls two boxes, breaking his shield when the enemy falls for it. Train H Amplify and Train H Matso manages to finish the other player off, leaving the last player on Benji. Benji just simply sprays at the wall and phases through, pressuring the opponent and shooting him to his death. So the entire fight is over in less than one minute, man. And it goes on to show like how efficient this trio is at eliminating unsuspecting enemy teams. You know, there's a lot to really understand from this fight, but the main thing is really to realize is it's just simply how unaware the enemy team was. I mean, Benji's trio was trailing behind them for like a good 20 seconds before they started fighting and not one of them just turned around or even saw them coming. And so this left them vulnerable to a triple spray, knocking the player closest to them and instantly just losing a viable player on their team. Literally, like all they had to do was just do a quick 360 scan of their environment, you know, just to see where everybody was. All right, bunch of crunch time, it's time for the question of the day. All right, today we wanna know, like what is your absolute dream team, you know, and, and what would that be for this season's FNCS? Don't worry about anything like, you know, the region, you know, the player plays in, you know, if you could bring three people together to create the ultimate trio, like who would that be? Let us know in the comments down below and you already know we're gonna check it out. All right, so this fight taken from one of the recent EU Cash Cups starts with Benji, Matso, and Amplify catching an enemy player rotating along a river who is separated from his team. 
They instantly recognize the enemy's disadvantage and all three of them start pushing the lone player. All right, so they pretty easily get the kill since the enemy is overwhelmed. All right, so after shaking down the down player, they start rotating towards the remaining two players on that team, hoping to take home another two eliminations. They box up one above and one across from the duo's box and immediately just start pressuring, right? The enemy team tries to sneak in a quick edit, but Umpify predicts the edit and hits a clean 129 headshot on one of the opponents, but trading some damage. They know that they're in quite a bad position right here, you know, in the center of the map, but it doesn't really stop them from trying to finish off the trio. So keeping their positioning right above the enemy's box, Maso and Amplify start pickaxing at the enemy's box and try to gain peace control, which really works with these. So they cast the opponent off guard and secure another elimination, but soon after they start, you know, getting triple sprayed by another team nearby. So the last player does get wiped out, unfortunately, you know, by that same nearby team finishing them off, so they don't really get those points. So, all right, what did we learn from this fight? So again, we see Benji, Maso and Amplify, yet again, like, you know, take advantage of a situation where the enemy team is separated, allowing them to grab yet another easy elimination. And so this shows how important it is to really stick close to your team and not put yourself in the way of a 3v1, especially when fighting against other pro players. Okay, so also during that fight, all right, we see Matso and Amplify perform peace control in a way that isn't very flashy or high profile, but it's safe and gets the job done. Instead of just full W King and just trying to full box the opponent, they keep their distance, man, like one level above the enemy, granting them height advantage. And so when they successfully take the enemy wall, they again don't just full on W key. They stand their ground and take aim from a distance, not allowing for the opponent to get an easy 200 pump or just spray them with a primal shotgun. And it's also amazing how well really the team manages to communicate. It's really impressive, especially in high intensity situations. All right, bunch of crunch time. It's time that we do our recap. Here we go. Never split away from your trio, all right? If you do this, you're 10 times more likely to get eliminated since you have no backup. The enemy teams often made this mistake and got killed by Benji, Matso, and Amplify. Always keep looking around and just staying aware of your enemy teams. Like this can save you from being instantly triple sprayed and killed, all right? Remember that you don't have to W key in order to gain peace control. Like in a few of these fights, we saw that the trio takes advantage of keeping distance while pushing. And this makes sure they don't get spammed by primal shotguns and prevents them from just getting easily 200 pump. So one tip for you guys to really help with this is always to edit walls with your blueprints out. And so doing this allows you to edit from a further distance away and easily peace control enemies. All right, so when you see an enemy team and they don't see you, always go for a triple spray on the opponent closest to you. This will guarantee that, you know, you get an easier fight since it weakens one of the players so much that they have to heal or it'll just simply just knock the player making the fight at 3v2, which is a lot easier to win. Efficiency is key. All right, take advantage of fighting enemies from completely different angles. In all three of these fights, we notice that almost any chance they get, the trio will always try to come into the fight from different angles when pressuring. And so doing this will make the enemy overwhelmed since it will burn through their mats and it's harder to defend yourself from two angles. All right guys, make use of movements like hot peppers to really gain different angles. Try your best to predict enemies edits by looking out for the blueprint so you can just pull off quick and reliable pre-fires to the head. Bunch of crunch Tommy. Okay, so that's gonna be it for today's in-game analysis for the trio of NRG, Benji, Fishy, Train H, Amplify, and Train H, Masso. All right, so this European trio, it's like one of the deadliest around. And we're sure that each member is gonna go on to do some incredible things in the next FNCS. So if you guys wanna learn how to play like one of these pros, all right, you can always check it out. Man, we got so many more cool things on this channel for more tips and tricks. And if you guys found this video helpful, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. And if you wanna connect with my Instagram, I would love to talk to you at your motivation guy. I'm so proud of you guys. Keep grinding. Never quit. Never surrender. I'll see you soon.